Hello, my name is Chris and today I will review the 2022 Acura MDX, the mid-size luxury crossover or as some people say SUV. I will look at what is new, then the exterior, interior, engine specs and take it out on the road. Let me know if the refresh is enough, I certainly do. The new design language looks good on the TLX but it really is better on Acura's crossovers. The 20 inch wheels look sporty. All models get adaptive dampers and tri-zone climate control. People who buy Acuras like the inherent Honda qualities taken up a big notch. These are no longer dressed up Hondas but are authentic luxury items. Acuras relatively good reliability makes it unique in the luxury segment. Only Lexus does better making MDX interesting from a purchase point of view. This red color is beautiful, it pops and is tasteful. MDX got some smiles and long stares during my week with it. Key updates were redesigned exterior and critically redesigned interior. New front suspension, updated tech like this precision cockpit digital display are ace. There is an S on the way later. There is plenty of room, I feel I repeat myself when reviewing crossovers. Rear seat room is awesome, as is the panoramic roof. The driver has the best seats in the category, heated and cooled, and there is an upgraded ELS sound system that plays loud enough and crystal clear. You do get a 12.3 inch display which is non-touch unfortunately because there is a horrible trackpad interface, a real downer in terms of ease of use and ergonomic. The digital dash thankfully is superb as are Acura's easy to use driving aids which can do stop and go traffic which I did all week. Wonderful. There are drive modes, but just leave it in normal mode. The passenger airbag gets a catcher's mitt design. It seems obvious after the fact, and kudos to Acura Innovation for that. Of course, there is super handling all-wheel drive, and the suspension is soft and supple when in normal mode. Sound deadening is quiet and refined. You feel your money on the road, no question. Acura delivers a strong automotive performance when you are out driving it. The V6 is a smooth operator. Acura just keeps making it better and better. With 290 horsepower and 267 pounds of torque, it almost feels underrated. There is a standard 10-speed automatic transmission, which is also hyper smooth. Fuel economy is 12.6 liters in the city and 9.4 liters on the highway or 1925 MPG. This week cost me over $70 in gas. I'm ready for a hybrid. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers driving the 2022 Acura MDX. I've had this car for the week. What to say about this vehicle? Well, I'm going to make a few remarks about how I've been feeling about this vehicle as the week has progressed. So when you're an urban mouse, uh, when you get these vehicles, you get them for a week. And at first they're so big, right? Because I really don't need all this space and it's just so high off the road and it's just, I'm so unused to driving this vehicle and I kind of feel that it's, it's a bit of something I don't need. However, as the week goes on, I'm able to see why people buy these. In fact, my friend, she is a bit of a, a luxury queen. When she got in this vehicle, she immediately loved it. Another one of my friends, she immediately loved it. Um, the, the, the comfort, the, the feeling of insulation, you feel so insulated from the rest of the road because of that Acura uh, dampening and insulation. The, the suspension is very soft. The V6 engine is so smooth. They've been, they've been perfecting this engine now for almost two decades, I think, or even more. And it just gets smoother and smoother in operation. It never feels like it lacks power. The luxury appointments, I think on first glance, it may look a little flashy, but where Acura gets you is on the key driver interfaces. This is where it's as good as the best of the Germans. We'll start with these seats. I know I go on and on about Honda seats, but God damn it, they are the best. And that's just the way it is. These are very comfortable. They're heated, they're cooled, and they're, they're, and they have a hot, nice high natural seating position. This is textbook in how it's done. You do get the high-end sound system. The ELS sound system delivers at least in this trim. You get the giant panoramic roof which allows for a lot of natural light or else it would be very somber here. Acura choosing to go just with, with, with dark gray and uh, that, that's one of the elements where I think it, 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 it lags behind its rivals. However, 
with that with that that giant moon roof so much natural light comes in it's 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 wonderful especially on cloudy days that's probably underrated here we often think about moon roof the sun but it's really on cloudy days where it makes things so much less gloomy in here you do get the digital dash that's a key interface you do get a very nice infotainment display um, nice color uh, nice contrast everything is fine on that level you do get a nice steering wheel nice to hold in hand when you close the door it feels very quality the only place I think where Acura gets out of whack is at the same place that uh, Lexus gets out of whack. It's with this, this whack interface. This trackpad is a mess. The screen is not a touch screen and it's too far away anyway to be touched. So that, that entire infotainment touch screen should be brought forward a few inches. And I mean, there's a reason why people do that, right? Oh, it's aesthetically unpleasing. Yeah, maybe it might not be as awesome, but it's sure easier to use. And this trackpad is is a mess. Go with the rotary dial that the Germans have if you can't do if you can't do anything else. And those are my thoughts about that. The driving aids work well enough. I'm familiar with Acura driving aids. These these work fine. I was on a highway going up north to Quebec. For, for, for those of you who know, going up to Saint Sauveur in the 15, that that highway is a mess. It needs at least two more lanes. And of course, we're not going to put them there because we're just not awesome. And the stop and go traffic in, in midday, well this stop and go cruise control really helps diminish the the soreness of the daily grind if I can say so so really good on that level steering very easy suspension once again very easy these seats very easy it's basically a comfort model uh, a spec apparently uh, means sporty I would say sportier in appearance and maybe if you put it in sport mode but why would you it is more sporty really what this vehicle is about is is comfort this is what this class of vehicle is about. I just got out of the, the uh, Mustang Mach-E, which is set up way more sportier. I don't know, these vehicles are not meant to be sporty. I'm driving here in the town of Dorval on the riverside, uh, high-end housing, and this vehicle aptly in its place. So, so because it gets those core tasks so well, you're willing to forgive a bit of this, I don't know, I don't wanna say cheap, but it's certainly not a high level piano black, especially here the piano black on the horizontal surfaces, it's getting dusty and it doesn't look good. On the vertical surfaces in certain areas it can be tolerated I guess, but here not really doing the job. The interior feels maybe like 65,000, whereas this vehicle tax in costs 75,000, just in terms of the aesthetic quality. If everything else, it meets or exceeds its price range, which makes it a tremendous bargain, I think. The A-Spec model is often, though I find, I find Acura specs out the A-Spec where you get everything you need and all the fluff is left out. I think this is, a, is, is highly recommendable on, on the lease and definitely recommendable on the purchase. Although Acura is not as bulletproof reliable as Lexus, let's say, it's certainly more reliable than its German counterparts. And that is the review. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, you should subscribe.